Okay, guys, I can't resist. I want to see what this does. Because that area there I don't really like anyway because it's got so many caterpillars and cells and things. So let's just, let's do this. Are you ready? It's toilet roll, cut, and then bent. Ooh, nervous. It's not moving. I made tiny little flowers. <laughs> they made tiny, tiny little flowers. Oh, that's so cool. I was expecting it to like open like that. I don't know if it will. Maybe I need to press harder. Oh, there we go. That kind of did something. I don't know that it did anything very worthwhile, but it kind of did something. Look. Let's try that same spot and go a little bit further down. And then back up. Oh, I don't know. It kind of flowering around the edge there. <laughs> That's cool. Well, it didn't really work the way I was expecting it to because the whole center is not coming in because obviously it's hollow. But um, it's not bad. It's not bad. All right. Now I have to put balloon dips on it because I don't like how that's turned out just like that. Look, I wanted to try it. I wanted to try it. All right, I've got my little balloon. I'm just going to put a lot. I'm just going to put some fairy kisses in. Little, little fairies. I won't do it everywhere. I just need to kind of break up that foot I've just made. Oh gosh. And we'll go right in the middle. So I'm breaking up my little caterpillars there here that I had. I really should be waiting until the paint's had a chance to set up because it's really, really quite thin still and it's going to puddle. There we go. <laughs> oh, what do you think? Little fairy kisses. All right, well, I suppose I should keep going because I can't just leave it like that, can I? So let's do, so in the middle of a caterpillar, okay? Because we don't like the caterpillars. So we'll just do that. And in the middle of this little swirly thing here, like that. It's always good if you can go in the middle of a group of cells because then it pulls all those cells together, which is kind of what I was hoping to achieve over here with this thing, but yeah, it did not work. <laughs> it was worth a try. It was worth a try. Okay, where else? Here's a big group of caterpillars. I will have to go over all of these again because the paint's just running back into the center. So I need to do this a few times to get some of that paint off the canvas. Um, I'm over here, definitely over here where I torch too much. Look, I'm not going to do, you know, the whole thing. I'm just going to do a little bit. Just a little bit where, you know, where they're all big groups like that, or this long blobby thing here. So there's one, two, three cells there. I'll just go in the middle of those three. It just dis disguises that long one there that had that weird cell on it. In the middle of this corner here. Oh, that's a pretty one. Um, where else, where else, where else? See, there's that circle there of cells. We can go right in the middle of those. And that should make a pretty flower too. So just have a look and see where's a nice little circle that you can dip your balloon right into the middle of. Now, this is a big group here of cells. So put the balloon in twice over here. I wasn't going to do anything to this painting because I liked it so much, but you know, when are you going to experiment? I'm probably going to like the next one too. So I like all my flip cut paws. 
So I'll probably never get to experiment because I go, no, I don't want to do it to that one. All right, so now this is where I need to start going over these and taking a little bit more paint off the surface. Because it's just paddling. It's a good idea to wait maybe oh, six hours or so for your paint to start thickening up and getting sort of absorbed into the canvas and starting to set a little bit, try a set up um, before you start dipping. Otherwise, the paint just flows back in. But if you can't wait or you're impatient like me, then uh, you just have to keep dipping until you've removed a little bit of that paint. Try and go straight down. Try not to get the balloon to like slip to the side if you can. I like a water balloon because it's got a little bit more weight to it. I find it's just that little bit easier to use. And you don't have to use a little balloon like this. You can use a big balloon. You might want to do some big ones and some little ones. I like the little ones. It's not a huge canvas, so I like just the little ones. All right, how are we going there? I said I wasn't going to do too many, but once you start, you guys, it's difficult to stop because you go, oh, I'll just do one more. Oh, I'll just do one more. Oh, there's a spot. Let's just do one more. And then before you know it, your whole painting's covered in little fairy kisses. Oh, there, that's an ugly cell there. Let's go right in the middle. I didn't notice him before. Oh, that's pretty. Look at that. So pretty. Let's go again. Alrighty. How's it looking? Pretty, pretty. So you just might have to probably dip three times in each, I would say, to get enough paint off the surface. If you continue to dip, 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 you're going to go right down to the canvas um, and then it'll be kind of ruined because it'll go, yeah, you'll go down to a bare canvas and you don't want that. Get another piece of paper towel. Wipe my balloon. Look at the mess I've made, you guys, hey? I just wanted to incorporate that other little cell there. Now I've got petals all the way around. That's really pretty, isn't it, that one? Some are prettier than others, and you get lots of colours that are coming up from underneath. as if I need something down here but there's nothing in here these cells are all too far apart for me to put the balloon in the middle of so that won't work and you have to have a cell your, your balloon has to dip into a cell for it to create that petal otherwise it'll just be a line like that there Now these ones just need a little bit more paint taken off them. Close, pretty close. I don't like that. I don't know what's going on there, but I don't like that. Here we go. Pushed a little bit harder to incorporate some more cells around that. So the harder you press, the more sort of space the balloon will go out and, and grab cells from. Um, what else, what else, what else? I would have kind of disguised what I did there at the beginning. Well, this one needs a bit of work, doesn't it? Let's incorporate that big one there. That's it. And that one. But yeah, you can you can just keep going and going and going. It's it's hard to know when to stop, but you do need to stop. Otherwise, yeah, you're going to go down to the bare canvas, and then you'll be going, oh, why didn't I stop? 
like me and my torching. Why didn't I stop torching? Just want to take some more paint off the canvas here. Right, I think I'll bring you down so that you can have a look and see what these are looking like. Because they're looking really pretty. So the other thing to know about doing these balloon dips, once you've done your balloons, don't torch. Otherwise, those beautiful petals that you've just created are going to have um, little dots, like little cells in them. And that's not what you want. You want to be able to see the petals. Actually, maybe that's better on, is it? Oh, I don't know. It just means that you're going to see a reflection of a ring light over here, but I'll try not to get into it. All right, so here we go. That one's really pretty. Isn't it? And then there's this one. All the different colours that they've pulled through. Now, who likes it before? <laughs> who likes it after? I was trying to cover up that thing up there. <laughs> I don't know. Sometimes, see that? Look at that. There's a cell in that one. That's what I mean about torching. Not that I torched, but sometimes they'll, they'll just appear. Really pretty, aren't they? Really pretty. So there you go. Well, let me know what you think of it. I'll have to stand over here. See, if I do that, there's a ring light in the way, so I'll have to stand over here. But um, yeah, let me know. Should I have left it? Too late now. <laughs> Just don't watch this one. <laughs> Just pretend the other one's the final one. All right, I've got to go. I've got to clean up my mess. Uh, my daughter Christy's coming up for the weekend. Oh, we're going to go and see Scream 5 tomorrow night. <gasps> Who likes watching the Scream movies? Me! So we're going to do that. I think my other daughter Gemma's coming too. I think it's going to be a girl night. We're going to all go and see it. All right, got to go. Love you all. Take care. See you real soon for the next video. Bye for now.